Hi everyone, this is Heba from My Little Journal and today I am back with a daily journal setup. I'm going to be setting up the month of May and I'm really excited. I can't believe it's May already. I'm going to start by adding my monthly tab. I get these monthly tabs from the Passion Planner and as always, everything I mention and used in my videos are linked in the description box for you. I'm going to start by using my Tucker Alpha Stamps from Studio Calico to stamp May. Now, because the month of May is such a short word, it just looked very bland and flat and empty for me. So what I decided to do is to use one of my newer stamps from Studio Calico. It has some large, bold words to document your travel, and it works for everything and anything. I love the word document. It goes with what I'm doing here. So I'm going to use that to add right underneath May, and it fills out that space a little bit. And because it's so bold, it just worked really well with the font from May. But anyways, once I'm done stamping my words, I had this idea of stamping labels around my title. Now, I didn't want to go with something, your typical like May theme, which would be flowers or trees or whatever. I just wanted to change it up. So I'm going to grab all my label stamps. Uh, I think I ended up using some from Heidi Swap and some from Studio Calico. And I'm going to stamp them everywhere around my title. I use my masking tape to help me layer them. And I really love how this turned out. It was definitely something that was brewing in my head and I was able to put it on paper. And I love these labels because they look like they're hand drawn. So it kind of looks like I drew them when really I didn't. And that's what I was looking for. So I'm just gonna go back and forth between different labels. I even end up adding some arrows as well. And once I have like the foundation stamped out, I can always come in and add the little things just to fill out those empty spots. So I'm just having fun with this. I really love how it turned out. And I'll even come back in and color in all these labels and it's just gonna look so, so good. Okay, so now comes the fun part where I can color in my labels. So some of my stamps had filler stamps, so I used those to color in some of the labels, but a lot of them do not, so I'm gonna end up using my Tombow markers to color in a lot of these labels. And once I color in everything, and by the way, you're gonna notice that I kinda had a theme. I was going with neutrals. I love my mustard yellow, so I kinda built off of that and just stuck to mustard yellow and browns and light browns and dark browns and all that good stuff. But I will come back in and fill out those empty spots because I felt like the right side was stamp heavy. Um, and there was a lot of space on the left side where I felt like I needed to add in a few things. So I'll go back to my labels and add a little bit more to the left side. And I'll also add a little bit more black because uh, you know me, if I don't add black to mute things down, I go nuts. So I'm gonna end up using some black ink to mute everything down a little bit. Oh, and I forgot, I did grab my favorite gray marker to add a little bit of shadowing to my title and also some of my labels. I just felt like it needed it a little bit and it actually makes a huge difference. And this is where I'm gonna grab some smaller stamp sets to fill in the gaps. I went with some arrows, which was perfect. I love that there is an outline and a filler. So I just use both and it's a great way to add that black ink into my title. Okay. 
Okay, I'm almost done with my title page. I'm just gonna add a border and call it done and we can move on to week 18. So for week 18, I wanted to represent Eid. So I will be using a lot of Eid stamps for this. But before I use all my Eid stamps, I'm going to start by stamping the days of the week. I love the stamp set from Close to My Heart. It just has a bunch of neon signs. And I thought it was the perfect uh, little box to add my days of the week and dates. So I'm going to stamp seven of those. And then I'm going to grab a date stamp and add Monday through Sunday. I love that they fit really nicely. And I love those neon signs. That stamp set is one of my favorites and I don't use it as much as I should. I do want to add a little something for my week stamp and calendar. So I have this paper pad, such an old paper pad. I don't know for those who remember two peas in a bucket from back in the day. I got that paper pad and I hoard it like no other. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to use it to add a little something. I start with another neon sign that says, I think, memories from that same stamp set. But I'm going to change my mind later. I just felt like it was too bold, especially when I wanted to stamp my aid stamps. I felt like it was too much for my spread. And I'm going to change my mind and change it up. And I'll end up using that memory stamp that I stamped out on a different week. thing I do when I'm not happy with something is to leave it alone. So what I decide to do is to start stamping my numbers and I'm thinking to myself, actually, I can probably save this memories card and I go with my calendar stamp. I add the calendar stamp, my week stamp, all that good stuff, but I'm still not feeling it. So again, I decide I will just go ahead and start stamping with my eight stamps, maybe I'll like this better, but you'll see later on I changed my mind and I still don't like it. But at this point, I grab my eight stamps. These stamps were sent to me by this amazing company called D Stamps. And thank you so much because they are beautiful eight stamps and I wanna use them in my daily journal. So I start by stamping Eid wherever I can, basically. And I add some stars, I'll add a moon, I'll fill them out with some yellow ink to bring in some color. And I'm still looking at this memories card and hating it and feeling like it's taking away from the theme and from these beautiful Eid stamps. So I'm going to like finish up that side and then change my mind remove the whole thing and start all over again. So I end up stamping one of the lanterns from these stamps on my card to kind of bring in more of that Eid theme. So I like that better. I felt like that memories stamp just didn't work well. So I'm going to start by stamping week 18. I'm going to stamp my calendar. We're doing this again, you guys. And I'm going to grab one of the lanterns from the stamp set to stamp a lantern on the side, color it, color it in with yellow marker. And it brings in that whole theme. It fit so much better. And I'm so happy I decided to do that because it would have drove me nuts thinking about this. Anyways, I keep going. I want to bring in something to the right side. So I'm using the same stamp set from D Stamps and I'm going to stamp some light bulbs and I'm going to stamp some stars in between Saturday and Sunday just again to bring in some color and bring in that theme to the right side. I'm so happy I did this because it would have drove me nuts and I would open this page every time and hate myself for not changing it. So anyways, I'm just going to go ahead and fill out those stars and when when I'm done with that, I feel like I need to add a little bit of something just to break down all the stars. I decide to use some older paper person paper. It was from last year's Ramadan kit and it had the evil eyes and I thought they were perfect to add a little something to my spread. So I'm going to grab that paper, trim out a few of the evil eyes and add them around my page and it's going to look so cool because the blue in the evil eyes makes everything pop.
Now that I have my evil eyes stuck down, I'm gonna grab my gray marker and just add some lines for each and every day. Then we can move on to week 19 where I decided to stamp out circles in the center of my page. And basically when I journal, I would journal above and underneath each circle. But I remembered that I have the stamp set from close to my heart. It is gorgeous. It just has blobs of paint and brush strokes and things like that. And I thought maybe it would be fun to use that to create my circles. So they're not perfect circles. They look like I just added them there. And I can use this stamp set from the paper person shop. It's like little mini circles that have the days of the week. So that can represent the days of the week for my spread. And then I can add my numbers right in the center of each circle. I just love how this turned out. I was not expecting this. I literally was going to stamp just simple circles throughout the spread and add my numbers and days of the week in the center. But I love this idea much more. And I got to use that beautiful stamp set from close to my heart. Now, I also want to add a little something. So I decided to go with arrows. I don't know why. I just love adding arrows to my spreads. So I end up just stamping them some above my little blobs of paint and underneath. And I'm just having fun with this. There's no right or wrong way to do it. For the week stamp, I thought I would go bold and stamp 19 with these large number stamps and add week uh, in a smaller stamp. But I didn't like it. And like I said earlier, usually when I don't like something, I keep going. I add to my spread. And if I still don't like it, I'll cover it up. And basically, I'm going to end up covering this up. <laughs> so again, I don't mind covering things up. I don't mind changing my mind. And that's why I keep this stuff in and share it with you guys. Because my spreads are never perfect. And I never create something and 100% love it. It's very rare. And sometimes, you know, you wish you did something different. And that happens to me every single time. Anyways, like I said, I keep going on. I grab some stickers and add some stickers to my spread. And I'm so excited that I finished the sticker sheet. Uh, but once I add my stickers and I added my border and I believe I end up adding washi tape, I'm still thinking I don't like that week 19. So what I decide to do is use that memories stamp that I stamped, I think, in our first week and didn't like. So I'm going to actually trim it out. I'm not going to use the whole piece of paper. I'm going to trim it out and add it and cover the week 19. You can see here I lost some footage, but I just literally covered week 19. So because I want to add week 19 again, I'm just going to go with my basic stamp that I've been using throughout my daily journal from Studio Calico to stamp week 19 in the corner and just call it done. I'm so happy that they changed my mind and I changed it up because this looks so much better than how I had it in the first place. Anyways, let's move on to week 19. So for week 19, um, again, I'm going to change it up. I'm going vertical. I don't mind changing up my daily journal. I feel like it keeps me motivated when each week looks different than the other. So I'm gonna go ahead and start by stamping week 20 and my little calendar. And then I'm gonna stamp the days of the week. So I love the stamp set from the paper person shop. I don't believe it's available anymore, but I'm sure that you can find stamps very similar to this. This could be the paper person shop or it could be Carrie Bradford, but as always, I'll be linking everything in the description box for you. But I'm gonna end up stamping Monday through Sunday and Saturday and Sunday are going to end up being smaller and that's fine with me. I dropped Sunday on my page. It happens you guys but I'm going to cover it up using this beautiful plant stamp set from close to my heart. Um, some of them are hanging plants so I'm going to use one of those to cover up my boo-boo doesn't cover it up uh, you know you still can see it but that doesn't bother me I'm gonna move on and start adding some plants to my spread I love plant stamp sets they bring me so much joy and I just love a spread full of plants I 
I don't think I'm going to be stamping any more on the spread or not adding more plants to my spread. So I'm going to go ahead and add my lines. This time around, I'm using a ruler. I've been really enjoying not using a ruler. I feel like it's faster, but when I go vertical, I'm always worried that I'm going to mess up. So I just go ahead and use a ruler. And once I'm done adding my lines, I'm going to, I believe, add my gray lines as well and color in my plants. I do want to bring in some color with my plants. So I just grab my Tombow markers and my Crayola markers and add a lot of color to these plants and pots. And even though this was the fastest spread to put together in this month's daily journal, um, this is one of my favorites. I just love the pop of color. I love how the plants look on my spread. And I've really been enjoying using vertical layouts uh, while, you know, adding my journaling every day. I need to do this more. I just really like that look of the vertical and it looks so neat when I add my journaling. But anyways, I'm going to finish up my spread by adding some uh, drop shadow to my boxes and we can move on to week 21. So for week 21, I am going to create seven boxes on my spread. This time around, it's going to go across my spread. So Monday through Sunday is going across and I'm going to use this fun stamp set. It's an old one from Future Craft to stamp the days of the week. And I'll grab a smaller number stamp to add the numbers right next to it. I was thinking to create something fun right next to Monday. I have that space where I could have used it for current leaves or whatever, but I decided to go with some bold stamps. And I'm going to use this light bulb stamp from Close to My Heart. It is gorgeous and so much fun, but it's a huge stamp and I don't need all those light bulbs and they won't all fit. So I'm okay with trimming down my acrylic stamps. I do it all the time. It's not gonna ruin your stamps. Just make sure you're, you're cutting around the stamp itself and not through your stamp. And it works out every single time. So I went ahead and trimmed uh, the other portion. That way I have two separate ones, have four together. So I'm just kind of playing with this, making it work for my spread. I will never end up using all six on one layout basically. And if I did, I can stamp them myself, but I don't want to use a, a big bulky stamp block. Uh, and not have the stamp stamp out perfectly, if that makes sense. So I'd rather trim them apart and use them this way. Anyways, I am done stamping my light bulbs. I want to use the little filler stamps to add some color. So I'm going with different shades of yellow to add into my light bulbs. And that way it brings in some kind of color to my spread. So in April, I was able to sign up for the Sticker BFF Exchange and I got Becky as my Sticker BFF and she sent me beautiful stickers and this was one of the packs she sent me and it had furniture and I loved it. So I'm going to end up using the little chair on one corner and then one of the um, plants in the other. I'm just having fun with this going between stamping and stickers. And if you're not familiar with the sticker BFF, I will link it in the description box, but you get to exchange stickers with other sticker lovers and it's so much fun. But anyways, I'm done. I'm going to go ahead and add uh, my lines or my boxes and then I'm going to add a drop shadow with some gray ink and then we can move on to week 22. So May ends on a Tuesday and usually I would add the days to the next month but I decided to go ahead and add Monday and Tuesday to May and I could always use the opposite side of this page to do some kind of recap, maybe a recap from January through May or something. Anyways, so I'm just going to go for it. I'm going to go bold with large day stamps to add Monday and Tuesday because I have the space. 
I will also just go ahead and write in the dates. And I'm going to use this beautiful pen that I got, I believe from Jet Pens or something. But I'm going to use that to add the drop shadowing to my days. And it works so perfectly. I love it. Um, I have so much control with this pen. I don't know why, but it's one of my favorites. So I went ahead, did that, and I'm going to use this stamp set from Everyday Explorers to stamp some leaves. I just want it to be simple, very green and beautiful. I had a lot of yellow layouts this month, so I wanted to bring in a different color. So we're going with green. And I'm just going back and forth between the larger leaf stamp and the smaller ones with black ink just to bring in some black a little bit. And I'll also use the filler stamp to add some green to my leaves. I love when stamp sets have filler stamps. Uh, I believe once I'm done with that, I'm going to start working on my recap page. My recap page is literally going to represent January through May. And I'm going to kind of document all the things I enjoyed in those few months. And I might do this regularly throughout my daily journal. Uh, I guess once, you know, I start creating and if a month ends on a Wednesday and it just makes no sense to uh, leave a full page empty, I'll probably do another recap. But anyways, let's move on to my in review page. I'm going to go ahead and stamp January through May. And that same stamp set, there was a stamp that said in review. So I'm going to end up stamping in review next to May. I wanted to document the books I read, the songs I loved, the shows I watched, uh, favorite moments, whatever, right, on the spread. So I'm going to start you by using this adorable sticky note pad. It turns into a book. It is gorgeous. So I'm going to use that, but before I stick it down, I decided I'm going to erase my lines. And when I'm erasing my lines, I go over January and the ink gets everywhere. It was not dry enough. So I'm going to have to fix that. So I go ahead, stick down my book. I'm going to grab some of my paper here. It's Archer and Olive paper, so you really won't even notice that I had a boo-boo there. I'm going to cover it up, re-stamp January, and then go back to documenting my favorite books. So because I don't know yet what my favorite book is, you know, from January through May, I'm just going to set this up so when the month is done, I can fill it out. So I'm going to stamp books right next to my little adorable book. I'm going to stamp an open book next to that and right underneath it, I'm going to stamp number of books read. And then once I'm done with May, I can fill out that open book with the number. And I think that's going to be a great way to document how many books I read uh, throughout the past few months. Anyways, let's move on. I also want to document the music I was listening to or my favorite songs. So I'm using the stamp set from Studio Calico to add the playlist. I'm going to add a little checklist as well. This is going to be like the little corner that represents music. But also as a memory keeper, I do want to add some sort of photo. So I thought I would use this Polaroid stamp to stamp in the corner. That way I can fill it out with uh, a favorite moment, maybe a Eid moment because or Eid photo, sorry, because basically Eid is in May. So I'm sure I want to add a photo of me and the family there or something. I also do stamp Eid Saeed, which is basically Happy Eid in English. And I stamp that in my Polaroid. I will be stamping these TV sets as well to represent the shows or my favorite top shows that I've watched from January through May. So I went with three. I might end up adding more. I left that space thinking, you know, I can fill it out later. And I stamped currently watching. I want to bring in something different into the spread. So I'm going to use that same sticker sheet that I used earlier with the furniture. And I'm going to add a little plant and I'm going to add a little couch. I do end up moving them. I put them in the center, but I felt like it got really busy there. So I'm going to end up moving it to the corner. And then I call my layouts done. 
I love how these spreads turned out. So fun to put together. It's totally like it's not different, but kind of different than what I usually do. And I love that because I like to change it up. It always keeps me motivated when each page is different. There's color, there's stickers. And that's why I always recommend to change it up from week to week because it really motivates you to grab your daily journal and journal. But anyways, you guys, that's about it. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. And if you did, please give me a thumbs up. And if you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing. And I hope to see you guys very soon. Bye. Thank you.